A minute ago I was on a real road, but now I'm rolling down a fake forested highway in a simulation created by Ubisoft. Meanwhile, Renault's level 4 autonomous system has taken the piloting chores, with a professional, joystick equipped driver backing it up in the passenger seat. It's a bizarre experience, but I don't feel sick, because the Symbios is transmitting real road motion to the headset. That data is then subtly adjusting the virtual image to be in sync with the real life car movements. I even see simulated versions of the cars and trucks on the road fed in by LiDAR and other sensors. After a few minutes, the headset shows a dramatic eclipse, and the faux Symbios leaves the road and soars over a canopy of trees. All of this is part of the mind-off driving experience that Renault is exploring with the Symbios. With fully autonomous vehicles just around the corner, the company is trying to imagine how we can spend our free time once we surrender the will to robots. VR may not be your personal entertainment choice, but it exhibits that idea in a vivid way. This demo really shows you that when your mind is off, it's really off, Redzik told me. If we give people back time, I don't think we should be judging what they are going to use this time for, whether it's gaming, VR or office work.